Goku. Huh. 179.4 pounds. That's how much the big unit weighs. Here we are, folks, taking you into my life of what I eat in a day. Now, I don't try and have a specific goal of gaining weight or losing weight. In fact, my only goal is performance. So I rarely weigh myself. And over the past 10 years, I've barely gained any weight or lost any weight. I've stayed steady. And so what I eat basically maintains the energy expenditure of my day. And I don't even know how much I eat in a day. We've never done this. I've never calculated it. And so welcome to the video. It's gonna be a fun one. Here we are, so this is kind of more or less a pretty standard breakfast for me. You can look into the coffee cup. I don't drink even a full cup of coffee. I only have a half a cup of coffee every day. I usually save like some coffee in the morning and normally I work out, so caffeine. I also have a rule, no caffeine is allowed unless if I am about to work out because caffeine is good for performance and otherwise I think you can get addicted and I got muffins. I'm the muffin man. So these are two muffins. Each one of these, it's not listed on the packaging, but we weighed it for you guys. We did some research and they're each about 400 calories. So 800 calories here for breakfast. Most of that's going to be carbs. And sometimes I would do substitutions. We don't always have muffins. So I would often either have this or I would have uh, bagels often with honey and butter and a little bit, bit of salt. I would have two bagels. So that's usually my typical breakfast and then we get going, usually training pretty much right after. And then after my first training you'll see is kind of when I have a more standard breakfast. And of course I had ketones. I do start my day every single day. Even before I have my coffee, I start my ketones. I find when I take those, they kind of hit my brain first. They actually help me wake up even before the coffee. And they just kind of get that body into a nice steady state with fat burning, I feel like. Here we are, so we're getting ready for the bike run. It's a bit of a break, I gotta think about what I want for both workouts. Now, usually I use, well almost always I use Power Bar Black Line mix. So it's in these little satchels. And each one of these has 90 grams of carbs, which is 360 calories, right? It's a four to one ratio. So I'm gonna start with two of those for the bike and run, but I'm gonna bring some extra gels just in case it's not enough. So I'm gonna, now I don't know, often a great rule of thumb is always bring, like when you're training, bring a little more than you need, right? And so we've got a little more than we need. And uh, yeah, we're gonna kind of, gonna kind of see from there. We're playing the long game here, right? We're trying to maintain, well not maintain, but we're trying to feed my body for energy, not just today, but day after day after day of hard training. And so, if you lose two, three hours of eating throughout the day, then it's gonna be so much harder to stay on top of your overall caloric expenditure throughout the day. So honestly, that's a big reason to keep eating all throughout the day right there, is just to make sure like, that you're not getting behind. Because I think the biggest thing to continuing to perform is that you're taking enough calories in every day so that you don't, like that's the, that's the biggest way you're gonna just not be able to train 25, 30 hours a week and hit the intensity is if you're not getting enough calories in like the engine's got to be fueled in order to perform right and this is the fuel right here Here we go, 90 minutes done. Uh, each bottle had 360 calories. I drank both of them, so 720 plus another 100 calories. So actually 820 calories over the 90 minute bike. I just checked, I burnt 1500 calories on the bike though. So we'd be in a deficit, believe it or not, even though I ate that much. And uh, we just did 
some big gear reps. Uh, gosh, we did eight times four and a half minutes at 360 watts and 365 RPMs. And now we got the main track workout coming up. We're gonna go 10 times 400 meters with just a 100 meter quick jog recovery. So it's kind of a VO2 session. A lot of times people take more rest. So it's VO2, but with short rest. So it, it works the heart rate and the legs. And then we go into a 5K steady. And then if I still feel good, we end with a few fast four. 200s, not 400s, four times 200. But if I break 30 seconds, on the first one, then I'm done, because that means I got the speed. done as I said it's a broken 5k so the 5k ends up being it's like 16 minutes and 30 seconds with with the recovery so uh, try it at home if you dare it's a great session if you want to modify it if you're a little slower than me you just make everything a little slower but the important thing is you don't want to let off too much on those off so it forces you to recover like at a sustainable pace. So I was doing them in like 25, the, the, the 100 rest in 25 to 28 seconds. So, I mean, if you're slower, I would suggest probably not much slower than 35 seconds, you know, so it's still a jog. Um, now the idea is we settle into a 5K and the pace should be about the same. The average pace for the 5K will be about the same, but it's just steady. So now it's like race pace, but uh, usually this feels way easier than what I just did, which is great. And we're taking more calories. I think we're already up to almost 2000 calories by 9.30 in the morning. So most people's average daily intake. So we'll, we'll recover a little and then we'll do it. Maybe one more 400. We'll, put, we'll switch direction though. Okay. Yeah, it looks young. <laughs> Okay. Here we are, everybody back from the track workout, and here's breakfast. I always steal Leonardo's apple juice, Laura's not here, so she's not going to find out, especially because she doesn't really watch the YouTube videos. Um, she thinks I'm boring, but I don't know why she would get married to me if she thinks I'm boring. Anyways, I digress. Breakfast is four eggs, two bagels. And then I put uh, this bitchin sauce on the top and I make the eggs with cheese and uh, that's that. And then I always have a ketone shot after kind of the main hard workout of the day. Some studies now, it's not official yet, but they show that it may increase your natural uh, EPO in the body, right? Which, which makes more blood basically. Um, obviously that's totally legal and everything. So anyways, even though it's not official, it can't hurt if they have some preliminary studies. So let's get cooking. I actually have no idea how many calories are in an egg, uh, but we'll get an estimate of everything. I'm seeing each bagel has 260 calories, so I'm guessing we're going to be putting down a little bit over a thousand calories for breakfast here, I guess. And I eat eggs pretty much every day, pretty well without fail. Um, Maybe like 27 out of 28 days of the month, I'd, I'd say I eat eggs. So I'm worried they're gonna fall off there. I'm guessing with me, it's kind of like I front load the calories. No, I back load, sorry, I front load the workouts and I back load the calories because like, even though it seems like I'm eating a lot, I've already burnt over 3,000 calories for the day, like just from workouts. Plus you have to add the basal metabolic rate, which I think 
my basal metabolic rate would be like 4,000. So my guess is we're going to be up at like 7,000 by the end of the day or so, um, if I had to guess. But we'll see. There's your juice. Yeah. Haha, uh -huh. you got your juice. Yeah. 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 Uh. See, that seems to, my whole bowl would supposedly only be, no, that's about right. That's about 700 calories per bowl. 700, oh yeah. Yeah, that's what I got. Okay. The math I explained there, okay, I split the portion sizes. We want to make sure we're, we're staying accurate here. Okay, there are 1,680. Would have been easier if we cooked just for me separately and we didn't feed Lar and Kenny, but obviously we're going to feed them. Um, so if you guys are mad that the math isn't exact, well, tell Kenny and Lar to go hungry for the day. So anyway, 1,680 divided by four, because I split the portion sizes into three, is about 425 per person. And then we decided all the sauce, which we ate all the sauce, is 175 per person from the total. Um, so that's 600, 425 plus 75 is 500 is 600. But then we put olive oil and butter and cheese. So I'm giving that about 100. So uh, it's probably give or take about 50 calories. But I, I think that math is sufficient for all of us. So that once I eat this, that puts me at 4,000 plus my little goodie bowl, little goodie bowl that we haven't shown you guys yet. And what's what is for lunch? What's for lunch? Ask the chef. Okay, we got spinach pasta, peppers, sausage, onion, and broccoli. <laughs> Thank you. Shane. And Parmesan cheese. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Really? Thanks, babe, for cooking. Yeah, of course. Try it. The weirdest thing, though. Oh, God. When I was like, oh, shoot. Oh. Oh, I have to eat it, too, otherwise, my calorie count is off. I, anyways, nothing. Never mind. I'm not going to say what I was going to say. It smelled like cigarettes as I uncovered the pot. It was so weird. Hmm. It doesn't taste like cigarettes, though. I was smoking while cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, everyone. 8.04 at night. We've gotten Leo down to bed, the big man down to bed, and uh, just reflecting on the day. So dinner, dinner was uh, quite delicious. Uh, homemade pizza. I got the totals up too. And you saw the guy in the footage, he, Jonathan, he's like kind of a super genius. So he calculated it super exact, um, measured the bread, weighed the bread and everything to get a weight. So. Conservatively, I had about 1,330 calories there for dinner, including the ice cream bar there at the end. And that's actually, I almost felt like it was more than that because dinner felt pretty filling. Um, but anyways, that brought the total up to 7,010 calories for the day. So yeah, oh, I forgot, gosh, the bowl of shame. Here's the bowl of shame. No, I'm not gonna call it the bowl of shame. This is, this is my snacking bowl. We couldn't possibly capture all of these. I came at like different points um, in the day and just had one thing. Um, I did have one healthy banana. So my snack jar here, this added up to 760 calories. This was just throughout the day, um, as well as the snacks I showed you with the Fritos and stuff was another 720 calories. And so I guess the lesson there is uh, I'm, a, I'm a pretty big snacker now. I think what's important is like I tried Obviously when you're filming things, like 
you maybe behave a little differently. So I wanted to behave as good as possible. Um, well, no, not, I, not as good as possible. I wanted to be as normal as I usually eat to give you guys an accurate reflection. And the only difference I would say is I often snack a little bit more and maybe breakfast, I would have maybe just had like one bagel, but then like 30 minutes later, I'd go back and make like toast or something. So I just did it all at once to make it a little more simple. Um, and I also feel from this, like 7,000 for me, that's pretty standard, I would say. Like I would say today actually was like not that much training for me. I only did, I only did two hours and 45 minutes of training, which is actually a smaller day. So I would say my range is, let's say like an, a recovery day might be 6,000 calories, but my big days, I honestly think I would be getting up over 10,000 calories. Um, and only, I mean, only 1,100 calories were consumed in my working out. So that's actually like quite low. Cause if you think if I did a four hour ride and a one hour run and a swim, like I probably would have consumed another 2000 calories just in training, which would get me up to nine. So yeah, I think I'm doing six to 10,000, I'd say, and 7,000 is pretty, pretty standard day, which was actually super cool. It's, it's actually the most asked thing I ever get asked, like, Hey, how many calories do you eat in a day? And I've, I have no idea until now. So now the number 7,000, you guys are probably better experts than me. Uh, we didn't break down like the macros, carbs to protein to fat, but I, I mean, I'm sure there's like some dietitians watching on here who can comment if I'm like way off in one or way off in another. But I, I just say my general theory is like, I think it's okay. Like, I mean, I'm, I actually got pretty close to a professional chef taking care of me with Laura there over there, you know, making a great lunch and we make great dinners every day and breakfast. But I think with how much I'm burning, I do think there's some room for like junk food. Like you can only make so many top notch meals every day. And so there is definitely some filler calories, but I mean, the alternative is you don't eat those and then you would just whittle away. So for me, I, I, I have no, uh, qualms about eating those. Um, so anyways, yeah, that was actually really awesome to see. I'm like, I thought that was super cool. Hmm. Gained, gained about three pounds, four pounds, actually gained four pounds throughout the day. I guess I lose that while I sleep. 